Uh, hi YouTube. Um, this is Michael back again. What I have here is I'm going to show you my um, ball python tank setup. Um, I have a 20 gallon tank. As you can see, I did a background around it to keep um, feeling more secure and happy. I got that also at the pet store. I put some fake plants in back. I have a half log, which he's under there right now. A big water bowl for him to soak in. And he has actually put his entire body in that water bowl. I got Ashpin bedding. I got the three lights. Um, I got for... Um, Let's see, uh, daylight I think, that one there is for the UVB and the night light. Both of these lights, the night light and the daylight, are heat lamps. They also give out UVA. Of course I have on uh, the metal stand, as you can see. And water for when he needs it. And then in the back I have um, thermometer slash... Um, Humidity, uh, you know, I think it's called a hydrometer. And then I got put one on, on the cool side and the warm side, so if he wants to move from the warm side to the cool side, uh, he can. I just want to make, keep an eye on the temperature and the humidity. He actually spends a lot of time on the, on the warm side of the tank and the cool side. Mainly he only went over here when he asked to um, soak in the water. That's a little bit before he had to shed. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's basically a basic setup. Um, this didn't come in a, one of the standard kits. This I put together all myself. Um, it all came separate. Uh, the lights and everything and um, the half. Um, uh, well, it's hide. I mean, I don't know if we have a specific kind, uh, name for that kind of hide, but that's what I got. I mean, he seems pretty happy with it. Eventually... He's not, uh, eventually I'm going to have to get another tank. He's not fully grown, but I'm um, probably going to bump it up maybe to a 40, even though, I well, no, I might keep it the same because I've been told by more than one person that for a ball python, a um, smaller tank is better than a real big one because they feel more secure in a smaller environment. So I may keep him in this. i got to see, uh, do some more research, and I'll do whatever um, I think is best for him. But... Um, it's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just put them below. I'm always happy to answer any questions. Um, but generally, um, what I showed you is what I have. Of course, you may do something different differently. Like uh, there's some kits you could buy together that comes with everything um, together. But like I said, I put this together separately. Um, under there, my ball python. His name is Lauren. I adopted him for my vet that I see all the time. Actually, his name, his first name is Lauren, so I named him after him. You may remember me showing you another ball python on my channel called Simon. Unfortunately, Simon passed away back in December. It was Sunday before Christmas. I'm not sure why he died. He seemed to be doing pretty well. And this one day he came in and checked on him. I went to go clean his tank, pulled him out, and he was dead. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, that's why I have um, another uh, python. This was Simon's tank. Just in case if you might have noticed, if you want to see my other video, you might have wondered what happened, but that that's what happened. So um, that's pretty much it um, for saying that. But um, like I said, this is just a guide. Um, of course, if you want to do something different than what I did with my tank, um, go right ahead. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different kind of hides you can get, and um, different water bowls, different plants, and a couple different beddings you can do. But um, I found that this one's what I got it works out pretty well. All right, well I'm just um, blabbing on too long, but uh, if you have any comments or questions, like I said earlier, put them below. And uh, Lauren says goodbye. All right, bye YouTube, bye.